Hey, warm welcome to honorable principal, respected teachers, my seniors, and my fellow friends. My greetings to all. And let me introduce myself. I am Sri Amrita of Second Bcom A, and studying in KCS Kasinadar College in financial services. Today, I would like to present my views on the word financial institution. The term financial institution we hear in our day-to-day -day life, especially commerce students. Under this, we see mutual funds, credit rating agencies, venture capitalists, and so on. And moving on to the next slide, it's mutual funds, a better way of investment. Investors with common objectives can pool their money and overcome their challenges. This pool of money is managed by the professional fund manager who is employed by the mutual fund. Moving on to the next slide, credit rating agencies. Let's start the discussion. The first issue, credit rating, now came into the prominence in the year 1837. What happened in 1837 is that there was a financial crisis in the US and after that there was a need felt that there should be some degree of rating that should be provided about the credit worthiness of the merchants so that in that respect this business of credit rating first started. And the second one is demand. Later the demand continued to rise in US. Demand was rising largely because of the market requires some independent information. They also require some trustworthy analysis of the credit worthiness of the merchants. So rising demand and situation led to rise of the credit trading agency as a business. And the third one is Fitch, Standards and Power and Moody. These are the three big credit rating agencies. You should know that the Modi has recently upgraded India's rating to AAA. So that is why Modi becomes more important. Another thing is that after the year of 1960, these credit rating agencies have started a new business model. In this, they are catering both to the investor as well as they are catering to the entity. And last but not the least, Venture Capitalist, a professional investor that manages a venture fund. These funds are similar to the mutual funds. Instead of investing in stocks, they invest privately in startup companies. And thank you guys.